Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege to welcome all of you here this evening. It is heartwarming so that many people have come along to show the support to ending sexual violence in conflict, one of the most pressing issues facing the international community today. We are delighted to have here the representatives from the United Nations Women, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNICEF, Save the Children, Refugees, and many other organizations. The Lai Dai Han are the dual heritage children of Vietnamese women and South Korean soldiers, many of which was raped during the Vietnam War. There are as many as 800 victims still alive today. South Korea have never recognized the allegation, never investigated, and never apologized. The Justice for Light at Hand campaign is fighting for an independent United Nations-led investigation so that the women can finally get the recognition and closer they deserve. We hope that this justice can be recognized so that truth, healing, and the true reconciliation can take place. It is my sincere pleasure to introduce our distinguished guests who have been so instrumental in campaigning for justice for light at hand. Nadia, uh, Baroness Nikoshin, Mitch Wendy Davis, Member of Parliament, the creative individual of Rebecca Hawkins, are with us tonight, and we'll be sharing some words shortly. And we are also grateful for the continued support of Jack Cho, our international ambassador. It is humbling to personally welcome several members of the Light at Hand community who suffer such atrocity. Thank you so much. And thanks to House of Magazine and Politics Home for the support and for gathering together all of the excellent speaker tonight. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, welcome to everyone here. And it's nice to see so many people with us this evening. It gives me great pleasure to, to open this event because as chair of the All Party Group on Vietnam, it's important to recognize, I think, that there needs to be an awareness, an awareness raising of the work that needs to be done by governments, by nations, and by non-governmental organizations across the globe to prevent sexual violence taking place. But the particular focus this evening is, of course, on the Lai Dai Han, the children of the Vietnamese women who were sexually abused and raped by South Korean soldiers in the Vietnam War. Many people don't realize that uh, South Korea was involved in the Vietnam War, but there were some 320,000 soldiers fighting alongside the Americans in that war. And sexual violence was widely, unfortunately, practiced. It's estimated there were some uh, 800 female victims and they gave birth to, to many children as a result of the rapes that they received. Many of those rapes occurred on young women as young as 12 and 13. And some of us, some of them are still with us today. And it's a great pleasure to welcome here and salute their courage. But could I say that this event is also about not only recognizing them, but also to take the campaign forward to ensure that there's recognition by the United Nations and that there's recognition by the South Korean government. Later on this evening, we'll have a, a wonderful statue unveiled. I haven't seen it myself, but I've seen the, the model at an event in the House of Commons just before Christmas. I know that if a real statue is only half as good as a wonderful uh, model that we have, it'll be a wonderful statue that we have before us. And that statue, I believe, will be a beacon of hope, a beacon of hope to the mothers and the children who have suffered so much uh, as a result of what happened in the Vietnamese War. And so it gives me very great pleasure to welcome you here and to formally uh, introduce the other speakers that we have this evening. Baroness Nicholson, I believe you are next to speak. Thank you. 
thank you very much indeed. Colleagues and friends, I have not worked with the Vietnamese people since those days a long time ago when I was a director of Save the Children and we were working in Hong Kong for the Vietnamese boat people. I have been unaware of the trauma and suffering until I heard just recently through DOD, thank you so much, Dodds, about justice for Lai Dai. Thank you very much for bringing us into the picture. That, of course, is the key problem with sexual violence and female harassment uh, against women, and, of course, against men, which is once the height of the scandal, as it were, and the misery is over, the world thinks, well, they're fine now. Everything's perfectly all right. And it isn't the case. Here we are, 20, 30 years long, and the sufferings are still there of these people. The Bosnian mothers came through London about a year and a half ago. And even that isn't yesterday, that's before then. Uh, in our committee of the prevention of sexual violence in conflict, I think I have one colleague, Baroness Hodgson here, who is, was on the committee with me, which I chaired, the Select Committee of the House of Lords. And we went to DRC and Rwanda, and then we met some of those terrible victims. Because the truth is that sexual violence in conflict is absolutely prevalent. It is everywhere. It is one of those awful issues that people like to pretend is just a once-off thing, you know, rather like uh, persecution, religious persecution or something. It happens. We're all very sorry. We all regret. We all mourn. We all put a penny in the collecting tin, and then we forget it. It takes very rare organisations, like the ones here tonight, not to forget on behalf of the victims. In our Prevention of Sexual Violence Select House of Lords Committee, we were very honoured uh, to have Nadia Murad uh, with two of her friends, who were our, our witnesses in July, I think it was early July 2015. And we've not forgotten in the House of Lords or in the House of Commons. And it was a result of our report, which we produced about 18 months later, that the British government has picked this up with such a will. It is now a key element of the Foreign Office strategy and policy that Britain, wherever we are, in whatever guise we happen to be, will fight sexual violence. And we will look after people afterwards. We will try to help them. In my own world, in the Amar Foundation, I have two colleagues here, we've been looking after Yazidis uh, uh, in northern Iraq. I think so far we've given uh, preventative health care and psychiatry and so on, as well as teaching and nurturing uh, to over 350,000 uh, Yazidi people. It's right down now to about 35,000 because things are a little bit better, but that pain hasn't left. It hasn't gone. Day upon day upon day, the pain is there. And the pain is there day and night. The fear, the fright, what's going to happen? Will the person come back here, or another person, or another person? This is not a pain that diminishes very easily indeed. So I welcome this evening. I have a little APPG in the House of Lords now in the House of Commons, which uh, Baroness Hodgson and I are pretty determined to keep going. But I'm absolutely delighted that the British government is now right up front on this, and we have been telling the globe how crucially important it is to fight sexual violence in conflict and to help the survivors to live and to help the victims' families, those who've been killed in this obnoxious onslaught, to help them have a reasonable life as well. Well, thank you very much, all of you. I have a small present for Nadia, and if I could just be permitted to give it to her, that would be nice. Where's she gone? I've lost her. Nadia, are you around? I can't see with all this light. No? Yes. Oh, Andrew, can I have my little present? On your first visit, Nadia, we loved having you, and I've just got a tiny photograph. Oh, thank you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> The most you beautiful so young lady then, Thank you. and an even more beautiful Thank young you. lady now. Thank you. Thank you. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn toàn thể quý vị và chính phủ Anh Quốc. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to sincerely thank 
uh, the presentation of all of you here, especially the one from the government of the United Kingdom. Ngày hôm nay chúng tôi đến để khánh thành bức tượng. <cười> Đây là một bức tượng ngước đầu lên hỏi ông trời. Một bức tượng tĩnh lặng. Mẹ tôi cũng giống như ngày xưa vậy. Không lên được tiếng nói. Ngước lên trời nhưng mà không kêu gọi được. Không tìm được công lý. Today we are here very emotional to attend the ceremony to review the sculpture. This sculpture in a few moments you will see when it is reviewed officially, depicting a mother with a face up high, look up to the sky. The mother stands there in silence, an eternal silence, and look for a question from the heaven, from the God, or from whatever in the sky, who may answer her the question that no one in the life answer her. And that is the question for her life. And that is not only for the woman in the sculpture, but it is a real woman who is silent for the whole life for a question. That is the woman standing next to me, my mother. Đó là một bức tượng tĩnh lặng. Còn đây là một bức tượng sống. Họ đã đứng bên cạnh tôi là những bức tượng sống. You will see a sculpture. You may ask yourself questions that who in the sculpture and in front of you is a silent sculpture who will not, will not say anything. But next to me is two ladies. They spend the whole life in silence. 50 năm đi tìm công lý. They 50 spend... năm mẹ tôi phải lập thầm lặng không biết kêu ở đâu không biết nhờ vào đâu để tìm được công lý. They spend 50 years of their life so far and even more than that seeking a question that no one want to answer and no one will ever want to answer them but they still want to ask for. Mẹ tôi cho đến ngày hôm nay Việt Nam đã thống nhất 50 năm rồi mẹ tôi vẫn còn bị chính quyền địa phương ngăn cấm bà phải ôm một nỗi đau đắng đẳng trong con người của mình chưa biết bày tỏ với ai My mother has been raped and raped again by South Korean soldier over 50 years ago country, Vietnam, have been united over 50 years ago. But from that moment onward and up to now, the government in Vietnam didn't want and in fact tried to stop my mother to raise a voice about this matter. Hôm nay chúng tôi cảm ơn Chính phủ Anh Quốc và cảm ơn quý vị có mặt trong ngày hôm nay. Đó là một niềm vui an ngủi Tôi trân trọng, xin quý vị cùng với chúng tôi và giúp chúng tôi có được tiếng nói. Tôi không nghĩ rằng từ ở chính phủ Anh Quốc không, mà tôi sẽ, tôi suy nghĩ nếu như quý vị ở các quốc gia khác giúp mẹ tôi có được. And the fact is that my mother is not allowed to raise a voice in her home country. The wish of my mother, a, a decent wish that the South Korean government will recognize the fact that their children were born uh, up to the sexual violence in the war, in the Vietnam war, is not heard from either government of Vietnam or government of South Korea. And today, what the two governments directly related in the story didn't want to accept 
have been hurt by the government of the United Kingdom. And the true pain that my mother and other uh, mother in Vietnam who says the same situation have been suffered for over 20 years. Today have been reviewed to the world by you, the participant in, the, in this room. Chính phủ đại hàng dân quốc Những người phụ nữ đại hàng dân quốc bị lính nhật hãm hiếp xem như một trò chơi thì chính phủ đại hàng dân quốc và nhân dân đại hàng dân quốc hàng năm lên tiếng kêu gọi chính phủ nhật phải đền bù phải xin lỗi còn mẹ tôi và chúng tôi là những sản phẩm sống thì chính phủ đại hàng dân quốc bỏ ngơ không nhìn tới không lên tiếng không đá động tới It's... như vậy thì có phải là một chính phủ hay không It shattered my heart when seeing the fact that every year the, call, the government of South Korea and the people of South Korea, they made very loud voice about the fact that in the World War II, the Japan army raped thousands of South Korean, vo South Korean women and they won the apology and they won the compensation for that fact. However, at the same time, they did not recognize that the South Korean army, why, and during the Vietnam War, had raped and sexually violent a lot of Vietnamese women, causing to the existence of ourselves here. But they didn't want to recognize that, and they didn't want to accept that fact. So what happened to us here? Are we human beings, or we are such a creature of the war, or in other words, the trust of the war? Tôi trân trọng mời quý vị giúp cho chúng tôi. Tôi đưa việc này ra Liên Hiệp Quốc và đỡ xác minh lại sự việc này và học chính phủ hàng phải thừa nhận. Chúng tôi là những người con, là những giọt máu rơi của lính đại hàng dân quốc bằng cách, bằng nhiều cách họ phải thừa nhận. When the government of both the rapists and the government of the victim both didn't want to recognize the hard fact of the story, then who else we can rely on? We only can rely on you. We rely on your conscience. We rely on your support for the just cause. And we want the United Nations to carry on the investigation. And I believe, I fully believe that there's so many ways for them to confirm what I said by DNA test or the other way. Hàng ngàn người phụ nữ Việt Nam bị lính đại hàng dụ dỗ hãm hiếp. Thì cái hàng trăm người mẹ đã nằm xuống, không giấy thoát được nỗi đau. Còn mẹ tôi và người phụ nữ đứng bên cạnh cũng đã ngồi 70 tuổi. Mẹ tôi năm nay đã gần 80. Nếu như một vài năm nữa mẹ tôi cũng nhắm mắt rời khỏi thế gian này tiếp tục ôm một nỗi đau thì chúng tôi sẽ như thế nào? Nỗi đau của chúng tôi sẽ bị chính phủ đại hàng dân quốc trà đập. Cho nên tôi rất mong quý vị Tôi rất mong chính phủ Anh. Thousands of the South Korean soldiers during Vietnam War raped or commit sexual violence against Vietnamese women. Of them, it means thousands of Vietnamese, Vietnamese women became the victim. Of them, so far, almost all of them died. And their silence now became a pain, not only in our conscience, but a pain to the value of the human being that we all uphold. And now my mother here, one of the few victims left, is 80 years old. In the next couple of years, she will not hear waiting for the answer anymore. But should we let the value of the human being vanish? Should we let the pain never been? Recover. It's up to you. Tôi xin chân thành cảm ơn. Xin quý vị giúp chúng tôi trong 
I didn't have anything to offer you. Yeah, thank you. But <coughs> my sincere thank. Thank you very much, Miss Ngai, Miss Ding, and Miss Nhat for coming such a long way from Vietnam to share with us your thoughts today. We salute your continued courage and bravery. And now I would like to introduce to you our distinguished guest, Ms. Nadia Murat, uh, the Nobel Peace Prize winner of 2018. She will come to the stage and share with us her thoughts. از کلا که هم نون مشهد نه و هم که که هون هات نویدری ویل حده بشار کن به وان دحیار رو دعمان بکن الویدش دی. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank everyone for coming here to support the survivors. It is our duty for all of us to support this woman. چرا برای المهای کشوری بشتم افتحیت فیتنام دیدن مجاز نکردن نشبر که هات نسکنان دن بهترش چهل سالی نبايفتن و نفس الوقت نزانیه که نبیشی چما نبايفتن اشبر گله کب زحمت ات بپاییفی و تطلب حق خوابی کی بشتی تعدل تبیه کردن و درنگ تحق خوابی وبزحمات تنابي في جو تبحسي إنه حقته ويوندا به أو إرهاب وكا الودري ويد وقتات حرب إنه ناجحنا عدالة. In January of this year, when I joined the survivors to support them, I was saddened because it took this long to recognize their sufferings. But at the same time, as I do understand, because it is not easy for a woman to speak about. Uh, to come forward to speak about uh, what happens to her in terms of sexual violence. Uh, but uh, we should not forget that what happened to them decades ago uh, happened only a few years ago to me, to my community, to the, the Yazidi women, and still uh, around 3,000 Yazidi women are uh, held in captivity and uh, experiencing sexual violence today as we speak. And <laughs> بس بنفس الوقت إيش مرة وبفيش هر يك إيش مرة ال الدنيا هم ويك سياسيا وإنسانيا وخلقي عاديرة حيب وبزحمة بإنه هفتن وقت برهتايرو في تشتي ببين إنه بنا ناس كرنا اللي بعالمه. Again, it's I'm very glad to be here to unveil the sculpture with them as a recognition to what happened to them many years ago. But we as a world. We forget sometimes uh, how silent we become about uh, such atrocities that women face all over uh, the world. تشتيب ما هاتي ال 2014 وقت داعش هات يشنغالي تشتكي هتان هاي مستمرة أو معاناة مستمرة هدفي وان بوكا جنو كتشكا ببا يكي جنهيلي أو هدف بجي آنين إنه عالم فاشلي كا كنا هي لي أو جنب بنا ضحية وشكلك عالية وفشلي بشتهن جيجي كهات عنها بيترش شهر هزار إفادة خدا يكجيهش داعشك المحكمة نديتيا. What happened to us in 2014 is just again again a reminder that we too often fail that to protect women from sexual violence. Sexual violence was uh, used as a weapon of war against Yazidis. Um, today, Yazidis are still going through this genocide. Um, their uh, sufferings have not been treated. Uh, we uh, have three, um, about 4,000 Yazidi survivors that are ready to testify, that have, some of them have already testified. But uh, to date, we have not seen one single uh, perpetrator in court for crimes of sexual violence against women. بس وقت هر چیزی این همچین گویی اینو معانات هت ازدیا نهاتی نسکنندن 
2014 دل في مها هشت و بيبين سال تهتان هو هفتي و نه مقبري جماعي هاتي نديتن الشنغال ده از قلق يبكيبهم انو ما كار كير قلق يبسحمت برايو اينو حكومتك ما فريق يونتات ما تشيكر كلبي ما هاسسيا چوي دست بيكير بفكرنا مقبرة اشكون دي مدى انو ام نهيلين اويت هاتي نا كشتن جي بيذن انو او دلائل بينا ونداكر Um, to date, um, I've mentioned this uh, before, but uh, 79 mass graves have been discovered in Yazidi homeland in Sinjar. Um, we have uh, been successful in uh, working with the UN, creating the UNITAT team that uh, will collect the evidence of, of these mass graves, but also uh, to investigate uh, crimes of sexual violence against Yazidis. أزب كيف منو الهرج هيك أزب كيجني ربم كيجنا فيتنامي بيوكا آ أكيدري بيم أمبيج ربن بس كأزدي كضحيك وكأقليك هدفك ما هيا إيش إمستري إيش إيش خلك مركها كأقلية ما إنه يوم داكرين كهدف داعش إبجينا آ كرين أو هدف إنه أم كاربين الجهة خوفا قرين وجهة خو آوا بكن um, I will always be a voice for um, these women. I will support women in Vietnam, uh, be it or anywhere else in the world. Um, uh, that's my uh, one of my responsibilities. But um, um, my hope and my goal uh, is to make sure that my community, the Yazidi community, uh, does not disappear from Iraq, um, that we do not lose our homeland, and uh, the, the, our cause is an existential one. And for me, uh, that's my goal that I will work on. Uh, uh, هات هتابونا الرفيجي في بيتيري توان ال الأوروبا. إرو إس دي سيسدو بينجي هزار دسعة نلاج النازح دسعة عشر مال خادورن ك فرصة هيم بيجرب الشغلن نوا شنقال آوا بكن وان إس دي وجرينا مال خا أو إس دي دسعة عشر جه خادور جلك دعم وتشتي منظمات هو تشنا كم بابس أو تشتكي مؤقتة ش ش ملاتي مرة نا مستقبل أو ملاتي ما نا بين مستقبل إيش خرا شو هيك أم دعمت كن كم منطقة خو آوا كن زو أم كاربن وجرينا جي خو. Around ninety five thousand Yazidis have immigrated to Europe and other countries so far. Um, the, the majority of Yazidis remain in uh, internally displaced camps today. Um, our goal is to make sure that we help these uh, Yazidis to go back to their homeland and not lose their homeland. Uh, my goal is to help them rebuild uh, their uh, ancestral homeland. Uh, we understand that it's necessary to help them in these camps and provide the humanitarian assistance to them, but um, they, they do not have any future in these camps. از کلا که اب که بوم که درایی نوبل اینو سعیان بکم ببیا مستشفا کل شنگال دشبری یک مستشفا هبو وقتی داعش هاتی خراکر و اینو هدف مشفی مستشفا اینو ببیا مستشفا کش هر خلک کی لوره هر جنا که از دی بسلمان مسیحی و جریا شنگال کجا کدی پیگر بعیش اینو و علاجش بکن از اب که بوم اینو موافقی بین مشبا هر دو حکومت عراق و کردستانو دعمی به حکومت آفرنسی و من ذم و را اینو اف برنام اف مشروع علاج بب به سلامی شکل ورده و من نفس الوقت شغل جش خلکی ردی. As you may know, I decided to donate the money from my Nobel Peace Prize to build a hospital in Sinjar. This hospital will be for all communities, not just Yazidis, Muslim, Christians, and everyone that is in the area, but will also serve the women and help treat the women that survive from sexual violence. I've been working with the. Uh, French government, uh, they will support also this project with us and we will uh, uh, build this hospital for everyone uh, to be a symbol of peace uh, for all communities and, and to help with social cohesion between all these communities. جارك دي از از كلك يب كيف بوم الفيد ريبم كا دعم بمشوان رابتشتي اسبيك عربم انو ام صوت اخوة بقيهنا كا ام 
ام بیشتر حق خواب بنو که افتش نیا کار راندن بوقت را بوقت را ایوان هاتی و پشت هنگ ما هاتی سبب هندی بین که ایروم کاربن بر ویشتی بسکنن ام اقلیات ها و ادیان الجد واند به حفظی نو حق جنب ندا عمل انو افتش نیا کار راندن و کلک مامن. Again, I'm happy to be here today uh, to support these women, and I hope uh, in the future we do not fail to uh, make never again a possibility because too often we do, and we uh, together can prevent further sexual violence against women um, everywhere in the world. Nadia, Miss Ngai. Ms. Dick Mittenyat, thank you very much for your powerful words. We have moved all of us in the room tonight. Just a reminder that this system bread, ISIS rep, Korean rep, it is all the same. What happened to this brave woman at the hands of South Korean soldier was wrong. What happened to Nadia and all the Zadizi women was wrong. And for far too long, rape has been used as a weapon of war. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly honored to be such distinguished guests here as we honor all the victims of sexual violence. And now, I would like to invite Nadia, Miss Ngai, Miss Ding, and the children of mixed race Korean and Vietnamese blood to unveil mother and child statues that honor own victim of sexual violence. loss for us, I truly feel the hand of history upon our soldiers. It's such a beautiful and haunting statue that honor own victim of wartime sexual violence. Thank you very much for bringing these powerful memories to the fort so that all this high up atrocity could never happen again. This beautiful mother and child statue is truly a beacon of hope to all the victims of Korean sex social violence and to all other victims of sex uh, sexual violence worldwide. Witnessing this historic moment, um, Mr. Chen Da Nhat, Ms. Ngai, and Ms. Ding would like to share with you their thoughts. Cho tôi xin cảm ơn quý vị. Để nói lên bức tượng này thì tôi có những bài thơ đã viết làm sẵn để cảm ơn nhà điêu khắc và cảm ơn chính phủ Anh và cảm ơn quý vị. Ladies and gentlemen, to reflect our sincere thanks to the British artists, the UK government, UK public and all donators to help us in this course and particularly to making up this statue, I made a poem and with your permission, please allow me to read the poem now. Tựa đời là cám nhận vờ tượng mẹ và con lai đại hành. And this is the one that reflect our thinking and our emotion of the people who are the victim or who are the children from the sexual violence and the rape of the South Korean soldier committed in Vietnam long time ago. Không có cha, con sống trong tình thương của mẹ. No father, I live in the love of my mom only. Bắt ốc mò cua ruộng cạn ruộng sâu. I live by the work my mother picked up from the right field, from the crop my mother picked up from the swallow water. Lặng lội tháng năm mưa, lặng lội tháng năm nắng giải mưa dầu, mẹ như bóng cây đa đầu làng xanh mát. Without proper food, 
that all the tiny things that my mother can collect to raise me up, my mother became the tree, became the shelter, became everything I have. Không có cha cuộc đời con thất lạc, đứa trẻ lấy hàng số phận long đông. It's only because of I never have a chance to see who is my father. I only have the curse from the from the human being, from the society that I'm a mixed race South Korean Vietnamese. Phố phường ồn ào những buổi chợ đông, con đã sống trong những cái nhìn ghẻ lạnh. The noise from the society, the glance from the people, the curse from the people in the market all focus on me, the mixed race South Korean Vietnamese. May có mẹ trong đời như luôn luôn ở cạnh. The only one who try to keep my hope, the only one who try to keep me alive, the Nhắc only one who is next to me is my mother. Nhắc nhở con hãy sống để làm người. And it is my mother who always reminds me that despite of everything that can happen to you, try to be a good human. Chiến tranh qua rồi, năm tháng sẽ vui tươi. Hãy hướng tới những chân trời tốt đẹp. Time fly, the war has passed long the way, but the way people look at us seem to be unchanged, but we still look for a future. Cảm ơn mẹ, người đàn bà chân đất đã bám rỡ sâu vào đất nước của mình. Thank you, thank you, my mother, who with the barefoot rooted from the earth became the tree for my life. Đã cho con còn có mặt đã cho con còn có một niềm tin qua hết đêm dài ngày mai sẽ sáng. Thank you, my mother, who give me nothing but the belief that after the night, the new day will come. Và tôi xin thêm một bài nữa vì tôi rất là cảm tôi làm cho đến năm mươi sáu bài về này nhưng tôi xin cho viết với hai bài. Tôi xin một thêm một bài đi tìm công lý. Từ đời lại đi tìm công lý. And uh, if you allow, can I read another poem? I made 56 of them, but uh, can I read another one? <cười> Ngước mắt lên, hỏi ông trời, bao giờ công lý trả lời cho con? I look up to the sky. I ask the heaven when the justice will be done. 50 năm một nỗi ôn không chồng nuôi lấy ba con một mình. 50 year without a husband, only alone to raise the children. Thống nhất nước nhà thình lình, chính quyền cấp xã nói mình điệp viên. The country is united, but it's starting that the local government blaming you is a spy of the enemy. Chồng nó lính Nam Triều Tiên xông vào thâu tóm vàng tiền mang đi. You are the spy because your husband or the one who is father of your children is a soldier from South Korean army who come here to kill people, to loot the property and destroy everything in this country. Không một văn bản chép ghi tịch thu tài sản bắt đi ở tù. And because you are raped from by the South Korean army soldier, then you will be detained, and then all of your property or your belonging will be taken away from you without any verdict, any written document. Việc lớn, việc nhỏ, tù mù, đánh cha tôi lết, lăng cù máu me. And because you are raped by the South Korean army soldier, then your father will be detained for being suspected to be a father of a spy and being beaten to death in the prison. Một từng sâu thả hâm hê ông vờ thưa kiện tôi nghe bắn liền. And 
before my father is dying in the prison, he was briefly released to die at home. However, because he dared to tell me what happened to him in the prison, then he had been shot dead at home. Cha tôi đầu nhức truyền miên vào bệnh viện, bác sĩ khuyên đưa về. With the head on and with all the injury inflicted to him in the prison, he had been transferred to the local hospital, but the local hospital refused to treat him. Chấn thương sọ não, mắt mờ, xương sườn gãy, mặt bờ bờ, dập gan. Because they said the in the. Uh, the, the spy or the associated to the enemy will not be allowed to treat in the hospital even with only the uh, open wound and injury. Thận phình ứ nước tiêu tan đưa ông về lo đám tan kịp giờ. With three ribs broken, with the uh, 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 skull broken, and with the kidney broken, he had been refused and returned home from the hospital to die there shortly. Nhà xe của cải tứ bà, chính quyền chiếm trộn tôi và mất cha. And that's not enough. Then the local government confiscated my house, my cattle, my belonging, and everything because they said, when you associated with the enemy because you have the children with the enemy, you are not worth and you're not allowed to keep anything. So họ không chịu điều tra đồng minh của Mỹ lính hàng hãm tôi. I cannot ask anyone, even the God will not answer my question that why the winning government didn't want to investigate the hard fact that I'm the innocent girl who are helpless and who we raped by the South Korean soldier. Ông trời ơi, ngó xuống coi một phường chó mã tôi đòi ở đâu? If there even God in the heaven, then God should look down to the earth to see that it seems to me that all human beings surrounding me are cursed, are own bastard. I own the one who want to rape me, kill me. Xin cảm ơn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce um, artist Rebecca Hawkins, um, who, created, uh, who created this beautiful statues. Thank you. It is a huge honour to be standing here tonight, and I would like to thank Justice for Lai Dai Han for entrusting me with such a precious and important commission. And I would also like to thank the Talos Art Foundry for casting it so beautifully. Only about a month ago, it was in around 30 pieces, and so what they've achieved is frankly miraculous in such a short time. Two years ago, I was asked to come up with something, a design to encapsulate the plight of the Lai Dai Han. And like many, I'd never heard of them. I listened to their testimonials and I heard their anger, pain, despair, and disbelief at what life had thrown at them. And I thought, how on earth can I talk for these women and their children if I haven't walked in their shoes. The first thing that struck me was how trapped these women must have been and felt they were only girls. As a mother of three children myself, I know firsthand that it is hard enough to bring up a child if it is not as a result of a violent and traumatic assault. assault as a lone parent, in poverty, and in social exclusion. Because of something that was done to them, over which they had no choice, these women have faced one of the most unimaginable in human challenges, and are still standing here, after all these years, recounting their intimate, personal, and emotional stories, 
shaking their fists, asking to be recognised. And they do so so that others may not know such personal hell. What courage that must take. For this reason, this is a monument to their strength, which is illustrated here by the strength and enduring nature of trees, rooted in the past, trying but unable to move forward. The mother looking up to the sky for answers that are not there. Her child comes from another root, sheltering underneath her, away from the stigma, one hand bound behind its back, illustrating the social, educational and generational handicaps placed upon them. As a child who spent her early years with a squint, I know firsthand what it feels like to be made to feel less than for the way that you look. But there is no operation for paternity. Our provenance is the one thing we can't control. And it is this legacy of rape that is one of the saddest elements of all. For this reason, I've used the strangler fig as a metaphor for what has befallen these women and their children. Strangler figs are common in Vietnam and often originate from a seed being dropped into the canopy of a tree by a bird. It sends tendrils down, ensnaring the tree, planting its roots among the, the host tree's roots, and then sends vines up around it, strangling it, sucking the life out of it until it dies. This metaphor fits the stories of all who are survivors of sexual violence in conflict. When I asked Mrs. Nat what had given her her strength, she told me simply that it was the love for her son. It is both inspiring and ironic that that which destroys you can produce something that also gives you the strength to survive it. There is a powerful juxtaposition between a child's need for nurture and the unconditional love of a mother who has survived extreme violence to sustain this relationship. So here, while they are bound together through love and shared sufferance, the child's hand reaches up for reassurance and the mother cradles the child's head protectively in her hand. This sculpture does not just stand for a group of women and their children in another country far away from a war 50 years ago that wasn't ours. It's about women and children and the legacy of rape in every conflict before ever since and today. This sculpture is a celebration of the strength of the human spirit in the face of that adversity. I hope that it stands and speaks for all women whose strength has been born in the heart of the crimes committed against them and for all children throughout the world who have found their strength in living with this stigma. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rebecca, for helping us to understand more about the statues. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so honored for all of you to be here today to witness this historic moment. A special thank you to all of our honored guests and all of our parliamentary guests. Working together, 
we will definitely achieve the recognition for the Lai Dai Han and continue our fight for the United Nations to conduct an independent investigation into what happened to 2000s, 2000s of Vietnamese women who were raped by the Korean soldier in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow these statues will be, on, uh, will be going on display at gallery address number 10, Hanover Street as a part of a special exhibition before going into a permanent location in central London. Before this happens, I invite all of you to spend more time with these beautiful statues, um, come up, speak to the victims, and thank you all of you for being here with us tonight. Thank you.